Hey guys, welcome back to Star Hammer 2. My father's war. Funny thing is, I thought I'd make it impossible I'd made it impossible to follow in Freyden's footsteps. I would miss the impatience, the sheer inability to act on anything. These seemed like easy traits to map a path around. Easy targets to avoid as so I worked myself out. But the way Marcy talks about first contact contact, it's hard to ignore the fact that I'm almost replicating his every step from 14 years ago. There seems to be no doubt in anyone else's mind what a dice does in this very specific situation. I don't believe history is a circle. I don't believe we're predestined to do the same, say the same, be the same over and over. I don't believe we exist within a recursion without free will. Except here I am, preparing to run this group of fools and cowards headfirst into certain calamity, nothing to follow but my own pig-headed arrogance and a hunch. I intend to strike first against the Nautilus. I won't wait for destruction at the whim of a group of desk jockeys intent on tying my hands to the table. The Nautilus will not back down. I need to press forward and find their weak points before the main host breaches the settlement line. If they reach Nova's airspace, then there will be no hope of holding them back. Alright, what do we got? Let's see... We can... Go after some guardians, or... I can either go after the Guardians and try to take them out, or I can try to cut my way through the at least weak point by going after... Going after... Eh, do I want another Raider? Nope, I would love another Corvette. The other By going after the enemies... What was I talking about? Right, mission objective, take out the enemy's mine layers. Eh, good enough. Great to not have to deal with guardians ever again, but... You're finished, Dice! The blood of every serviceman here will be on your hands. There's no jail dark enough for what you've done. You jeopardize the safety and honor of every person in the Coalition. I'll have your stars and the stars of every single person with you. You will never fly for the... All due respect, Admiral. If you were doing your job, then I wouldn't have to. Pluto, cut the channel. That certainly was an earful. Are you still standing, Valoran? There's nothing he can do until we get back to Novus. Frankly, if we don't succeed out here, there won't be much to return to anyway. Well, there's some good news to be had. The Arsman has agreed to sneak reinforcements loyal to Valoran out to us, but only while the shipyards are still running. Do we know how long they can stay online? Naval Groups 5 and 12 are on hand for defense of the shipyards, but they were running penal personnel to start with. Use for boats if there aren't people to pilot them. I need everyone to understand that we're operating outside command sanction. When we return planet side, you will all need to disavow any role you had in this. Let's deal with these squids first. No need worrying about a muck racket that might not even come to pass yet. What do we got? Two healer, three healer, six healer. Six healers, and some krill. All units move forward at full speed. No, I never bothered to see if there was a way to sign command groups. 
kind of doubt it. settlement line out here. We completely overshot it. We're closer to God out here. I just wish I could see home better. Mm -hmm. Sprayers coming in. That's not a big deal. Alright, let's get some power to the weapons. Kong's falling behind again. Frigates are slow. There's eight there. I still don't have the slightest idea how to pronounce that name. Papa Catapulto? Yeah, his shields are down, that's nothing big. Her shields are down, whatever. Let me just order my drones to go after a friggin' krill. That's a good use for it. Healers, mine layers, same thing. They're running away pretty quick. Get your shields back up. Rebalanced, I should say. Taking at least pause to do anything for us, the people back home. What would you have me do, Ludo? Falconet has no idea how to handle this, and the board is broken and keep fighting. Should we return to Novus and let Falconet dismantle this crew just so someone else can go and get us all killed? For what it's worth, these blind layers are the equivalent of a medical supply chain for the Nautilus. Mean, this bottle should really hamper the longevity of any sustained assault. I understand that, I just. I'm scared, I get it. I'm not scared, I'm angry. Oh, I believe you could do better, Val. I just don't see it happening before we get blown out of the water here. Let's 
seek and destroy. sky. What are you going to crash into? Oh, the drone. Efficient little buggers, I love them. Is there anything left? Oh, another group of healers over there. So I actually had some a story to tell again today. Oh, you crashed into a, that thing. Today, well, not today, the day that you're watching this. Because I'm not going to upload it today. Anyway, today's my granddad's birthday. Which means it's also my birthday. Plus my birthday, you know what I mean. I just always thought that was really cool that me and my granddad shared the same birthday. We've always been really close, too, so, you know. Anyway, my mom was pregnant. That was her first kid. And she was due, like, early July. His birthday is middle of July. And at one point he looked at her and he said, I know he's going to be born on my birthday, right? She was like, yeah, whatever. Didn't believe him. That's, you know, early July, mid-July. Two very different dates. No. She goes into labor on, uh, two days before his birthday. Two days before his birthday. He's 
looks at her and says, you know, he's gonna be born on, born on my birthday. 36 hours later, they're preparing to do a C-section when I finally decide to come out. One fifty-six a.m. Oh. shame if somebody were to order the capital ship to drive through them to make them explode. Real shame. Let's see if we can't kill those guys without smashing them in the lens. Navigation report. Could you get away from him? Drones don't want to come in, or maybe I can't not bring them in at this point. The Oklahoma is down great. And you're not firing because you're in repair mode. I screwed that one up. I swear to god, if you get killed by a friggin' meteor...
someone, please, just kill these stupid mine layers already. This battle was going so, so very well. Where are you going? That's off the map, you cheater. Kidding me, right? How far can this stupid thing go? That was aggravating. Mark's clear, Commander. Keep that scanner up. We're out here for targets of opportunity. Anything to get the swarm off kilter. Yes, sir. Screwed up hard. Alright, let's see. So, Krill and Sprayer's going to investigate the ruins of the mine layers that I just really screwed up. Oh. A carrier? As in, on par with my carriers? Take care of the meat shield. Yeah, let's go after the meat shield. Spray lanes. We need to be careful not to let the fleet get split up. Your head marks appearing on the board as well, Commander. Tell the fleet to keep formation. I don't want anyone getting separated and lost out there. Unlike the last time. Let me find out where my greatest enemies are. Oh, you. You. You stupid floating rocks. I have coming in a battle cruiser, two battle cruiser and one corvette, which means each of you can launch 25% of your missiles. That's a lot of missiles for you.
Are you kidding me? You... You... You shot... You shot the Labombo in the back. What the... What? That's... You shot him in the... Well, this is a great way to start things. How about somebody who's not a complete idiot fire some missiles? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're level one. No wonder. You go over there, you know, away from everybody else. You know, I don't know why I didn't expect that to happen. I don't know why I thought he would drum up enough confidence to not shoot somebody in the... There, shoot someone in the back now, you friggin' idiot. Sooner or later, I'll get to the group I want. There we go. Okay, bring it in a little bit, but not too much. Or the cataphract will shoot you in the friggin' back.
Cataphract. Cataphract in a stunning display of competence. You managed to not launch a bloody nuclear missile in one of our own ships this time. Let's keep this trend going. Let's also see if we can stop you from getting caught on a friggin' asteroid and killing yourself. Oh yeah, those spearheads died nice and easy. Wrong, give all back to the main fleet. Well, Bombo's fine. This the best we know for it. An associated discharge for Betty. She's not rogue. No, she's just calling Charles that she needs, but she sees needs calling. It's like a father did 14 years ago. Bellerin isn't nothing like her dad. Buck, you're usually on point, unless you have no idea how wrong you are. When I say cut through them, that includes slamming through them if you need to. Rebalance to the front shields. Keep moving. Keep shooting. Alright, those spearheads are coming after the main fleet. Fine. Launch drones. Oh. Oh, that could be a problem over there. Bombo, don't let him get close. Did I waltz into a trap? The answer is no. You're never in a trap if you have enough missiles. Okay, charging right into the heart of this formation was a terrible plan. Whoever came up with it needs to be fired. Doesn't really matter who you target as long as you're shooting at somebody. What about you, uh... Gills by Killsburg? Ah, you're new. You crash into that uh, asteroid? Hey, I'm not run my missiles. It's not cool. Really care who you're shooting, just so long as you're shooting.
quick enough. No more sprayers coming in? Oh, that is literally no problem whatsoever. Maybe a little problem, but it's negligible. and it's nothing I want to find out about. Yeah, the collision never killed anybody. Except, you know, several my troops, but it's, it's fine. Go help the one with the really long name, you too. See, that's a collision about to happen.
this is just it's like a Jackson and Pollock painting, I think. Or one of those paintings where you stick some marbles in a shoebox. Just to roll them around. You don't know what I'm talking about, you never had a I mean, yeah, you never put gold in it up like that specifically. But you never set some marbles in paint, stuck them in a shoebox, and just rolled the crap out of that crap. Ah. Uh, you can use some marbles in a shoebox. That, you know, piece of paper to put in set shoebox. They just keep coming. Which is fine. My drones are ready to go back out. Yeah, I know you're in trouble. You were in worse trouble earlier, remember? Where are my reinforcements? Drones are almost scary. I'm glad they're on my side. any shields left. Don't need any shields. That's what armor is for. Oh, you're not in range for ramming? I disagree. Always fine. Oh, look at you running away before I can ram you. Oh, whatever. I'll die either way. You're dead next round. What's left is this next wave of. How many spearheads did they bring? Jeez. Wrong 
get back in that fight. You too. Let my companionship recover a little bit. It's been... It's been busy. is here. Definitely the right strategy. So it ends up working for you though. What happens here? How have you still not killed these two? Well, that's super. Run. Just do something already. Oh, that worked really well, I've got to admit.
much fun shooting people who aren't stone like bricks. Clear, Commander, but there's dozens more taking their place already. Are they advancing? No. They're making preparations. They're preparing for a fight. What have you been doing up till now? Skirmishes, territorial conflict, but now they've found it a point worth rallying against in Commander's dice. Oh, man, I've got visuals on the Swarm Center. They want to come see this. Yeah, I do. Stinger 9 is here. That's a stupid name for a ship. What do we got? Um. Ooh, three of something really, really big. Spearhead Monarch, or the Sprayer Monarch. Yeah. Oh, so I gotta go after one of the Monarchs, huh? Uh huh huh. I only said it like 15 times in that sentence. Well, that's what I'm gonna do then. After the... Sprayers went down pretty easy last time, so I think I'll go after them. Anyway, that's it for this part. I'll see you guys in the next one.